Hi, I'm Roshan Kennison, and this is Ringgit Bytes. Fixed deposit rates have fallen in tandem with Bank Nagara's cuts to the overnight policy rate. While it might help stimulate the economy, it also decreases returns from your money in fixed deposits. So what are your options if you're looking for returns but don't want to take on too much risk? Well, money market funds are option one. But if you're looking for higher returns and willing to take on more risk, then there are also bond funds. Today, we sit down with licensed financial planner Yap Ming Hui to discuss bond funds, what they are, and the risk you need to pay attention to. In the first place, we need to understand that you invest in bond, you are basically giving loan to an issuer that will promise to give you return in interest and also the return of the capital back. So when you invest in the bond fund, you are basically investing into a diversified pool of bond papers. Bond fund give you quite a regular return coming from the coupon that they receive. Uh, at the same time, it also has got some preservation value. And if you were to compare to equity fund, bond fund is relatively lower risk. Different bond fund has got different return and risk profile. So we are always looking for best of breed. Uh, there are some bond fund which is more risky than others. Those are, for example, high yield bond and also emerging market bond. And there are also less risky uh, bond, like the bond of a developed country's government, but they pay lower return. When we look for the bond fund, we need to be mindful about the sale charge that we are paying. If you, uh, but to go to unit trust company or bank, chances are you may be charged between 1% to 2% uh, sales charge. Okay? So that may eat into the return. So if you were to go to a licensed company like Corporate Unit Trust Advisor, QTA, they will generally offer bond fund at zero sales charge. Bond fund is not capital guarantee, and the return is also not guaranteed. The bond invests into underlying bond paper and there is a chance that the bond paper selected to default get undervalued. So when that happens, you may lose money. 